of them, they look just like my mom. Like, they, okay, she's a whole nother version of my mother. So I was like my mom, and my mom, she, she did a great thing. She take care of us. Three generations inside this Baltimore City home. All of them share the same pain. I remember talking about my sister. The loss of a mother, a daughter, a sister. My sister was born on May 5th, 2019. When they came, they just told us she was shot multiple times and her car flipped over. Deisha Jones was shot to death on Druid Hill Avenue. When she didn't come home, her young daughters learned why. And he said, my mom was dead and I just broke down because I didn't know what to do. Devin is 10 years old. I couldn't feel the same no more. It's like hard losing a mother. Like, that been there your whole life. After her mother's murder, she and her younger sisters moved in with their Aunt Tiffany. It was the promise I made to my sister when my sister died. I was put in my ear in the casket. So I'll make sure her daughters be straight forever. And I'm going to live up to that as long as I'm here. Deisha's murder remains unsolved. Her daughters have tried to cope, finding comfort in routine and support from their friends and teachers at Mary E. Rodman Elementary School, where the staff knows what they've been through. They're close to me. They know my situation. Like, they helped me. I think it makes Demi feel better when she thinks about her mom. Sometimes in school, I just still think about it. All the memories we had, it's like, it's just gone now. Mm -hmm. But when Baltimore City Schools closed in March due to COVID, Demi and her sister switched to virtual learning, and their support network was gone. Do you think that they would adjust better if they were in that school learning as opposed to virtual learning? Yes, I do. Demi's not going to vent to no one at that student, student learning center because sure. Demi doesn't know no one at that student learning center. In September, Demi and her sisters began attending a nearby student Damn, learning center, stop. one of 15 set up by Baltimore City Schools to help working parents during the shutdown. About a thousand children are enrolled citywide, and the safety protocols at the learning centers appear to have worked. During the first seven weeks, city schools reported zero cases of COVID involving students and staff. This is the learning center Demi and her sisters attended. It's literally inside Mary E. Rodman, their elementary school. You can see that it's staffed, but it's not staffed with the teachers and counselors who have been there for Demi since her mother was killed. It's staffed with other adults she doesn't know. If they're gonna earn a, open a learning center, why won't we just go back to regular school? Because it's so many people in that learning center. It's just like regular school. Project Baltimore asked North Avenue that same question. They declined an interview, but said in a statement, City Schools has committed to taking a measured, cautious approach to providing in-person learning opportunities by bringing back small groups of students in a controlled environment. The statement cited staffing concerns and legally required accommodations for staff during the pandemic, meaning students may have teachers other than their own. Demi is no longer attending the learning center. Without her teachers and therapists, she wasn't doing well. Her community tries to fill the void. I know you're gonna miss your mom. She's gonna always be with you though. You remember that, don't you ever forget that she'll always be with you. People say it's gonna be okay. And to me, it's not because it's my mother. And she, I never expected her to be gone so easily and why I'm so young. I'm trying to be strong because I know that's what my sister wants. Long as her kids are good, she'll rest in peace. But in every day, I pray.
pray and ask God to give my mother this message. I miss you so much. I don't know why he took you so fast, but just know I will always love you. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.